welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you on tonight's show, especially as we are joined by Andy Bennett, formerly of Ocean Colour Scene. And here is what happened when I caught up with him. Andy, it's great to have you on the show. How are you? I'm great, thank you. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's such a pleasure. And I know you've been so busy. You've got a new single coming out. I know you've got lots of gigs planned. It must be so nice to get out there, right? Oh, uh, well, can, you know, in the year we've just had, definitely. Yeah, it's brilliant to be back out and looking forward to the things to come. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to play out the first song, Ocean Colour Sing, The Day We Caught the Train, a real favourite of mine. Enjoy this. And we'll be catching up with Andy on the other side. Now I want to rewind, Andy, how everything started, because it was right. Is it right that you were eight years old uh, when you were taught to play the guitar by Ocean Colour Scene Steve Craddock? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think I was about eight years old, something like that, yeah. He lived next door but one to me. Oh, right. And uh, I used to see him loading up his van. He was only about 16, 17 at the time, uh, oh. loading up his, band with, uh, his van with his band. <laughs> and I was just fascinated at the instruments and yeah. you know, I probably just went round and hassled them all the time. So I just went, all right, I'll show you that. <laughs> yeah. Teach me. Brilliant. And your first break uh, was with your band, The Elements, which you guys supported Ocean Colour Scene, didn't you? Right. So, yeah, it was the band, The Elements, although they were called Sergeant at the time. Uh, and that was back right. late ni- uh, early 1998. Uh, we went on tour with Ocean Colour Scene. Uh, supporting them but I also played second guitar for them at the time wow and then uh, yeah and then after that we changed our name to the elements and away we go yeah one album with the Asher Jazz record label and and that's it yeah wow yeah and your first tour with Ocean Colour Scene was in 2004 I mean that must have been an incredible experience for you right as a proper member yeah it was it was fantastic yeah because the first gig was the Albert Hall so yeah no pressure (laughs) Uh, Start was, like you mean to go away. It was yeah. really, really good. Yeah. Well, it was the Ronnie Lane uh, tribute um, show, actually. So there's a lot of great acts on there. I mean, um, Paul Weller was on it. God. Uh, I think Ronnie Wood was there. You know, there's some wow. big Pete Townsend. There was some big, big people there. And it was just phenomenal to, to play the album. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. On. You can't get better than that. Just wonderful. Well, we have. Not really. Yeah. Not, not yeah, really. exactly. Well, we have got a, a clip of you uh, playing with the elements that we mentioned uh, called Deep Freeze. So check this out. You know that I just can't see you.
this is Andy Bennett. This is a song called Do It All For Love. He's a lonesome user, virgin on abuser, standing in the city without any shoes on. to leave Ocean Colour Scene and focus on your own career, I want to talk about your new single. It's called Baby Let Me Hold You Tonight, out on the 20th of August. Um, I've seen little bits and bobs on social media. This sounds really exciting. Yeah, it is. It's great. It's the first release, um, well, in a while, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I like this song. I think it's good. I think it's strong. I think it's catchy. I think it's cheesy. I think it's great. <laughs> We like cheese. <laughs> well, yeah. We're going to put details uh, on the screen below um, of how you can check that out. And also, uh, following the success of your first album, uh, you've been working on a second solo album due for release in early 2022. What can we expect from this, Andy? Um, a little different. I didn't have uh, any band on this album. It's just, I mean, it does have bass, drums and, you know, it is rock and roll essentially, but it's it's just me because obviously it was done during the lockdown last year. So I couldn't really, right. couldn't really get everybody in and, uh, you know, all masked up and uh, partitioned yeah. off. You know, it's just not, uh, so I did it all by, I did it like, yeah. you know, what Paul McCartney did basically. He just yeah. went into the studio with an engineer and uh, we just recorded, well, we recorded eight tracks because two were already recorded. And I think it's, uh, we, I did it at um, Woodbine Studios in Leamington Spa, where a lot of people have recorded. I mean, the guy that was engineering it, John Rivers, who owns the studio, he did the specials Ghost Town. So he's got some really good credits to his name. He's done some ocean colour scene stuff in the past. And I think it sounds really, really good. And also it was mastered by... Uh, John Astley, who's just an incredible mastering engineer. He's done, you know, people like Led wow. Zeppelin and individual wow. Beatles and stuff. You don't need any more yeah. credibility than that, do you really? <laughs> exactly. Well, again, we will uh, put details on the screen below of how you can check it out and look out for that in early 2022. Great. Now, we're going to go into um, a solo song of yours, Drift Away. I had a little listen of this and I found it a really nice, uplifting song, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I like the video of it, actually. 
That was done on the... Yeah, I do. It was done on the uh, on the Avon in Stratford. <laughs> but, oh, right. but I'm actually okay. in the middle. It is me in the boat, but I couldn't row it. I kept going in surfs. I had to, like, <laughs> hire the guy to kick me out into the into the Avon. Yeah, it was, a, it was fun trying to get back. <laughs> fun trying to get back in yeah i bet i bet well it's a fantastic video Uh, you're gonna like this at home enjoy drift away like a boat on a river let your thoughts wander freely and wild Catch your breath while you think about the colors that explode so deep in your mind. And never forget the day that we spent lying asleep to the sun as it shines. Hole in the road. There's a hole in the road that keeps on tripping me up. When I cry for help, I'm just left for dust. There's a hole in the road on everybody's street. When they cry for help, they don't get them on their feet. And I come. Tell 
me what it means Somebody, somebody's got a hold on me There's a hole in the road, yes, there's a Uh, live festival which is going to be on the 17th to 19th of September at the Prince's Park Manchester the lineup has been confirmed this is exciting news gigs are back it must be so nice for you to perform to a live audience right oh you don't know honestly it's been so weird when I started out the lockdown yeah doing a little you know indoors lockdown uh like and yes. like we're doing now and it, it's so weird when you finish a song and there's no there's no uh, applause yeah, or, no, no or applause. booze or yeah. just nothing. So you don't, you just don't know how you've been. And it's yeah. really, really weird. I've never, ever experienced anything like it. But I don't think any of us did, did we, yeah. until last year, you know? Exactly. And when people are singing back your songs, I mean, I've seen, you know, clips of the guys in the crowd. It must just be the best feeling in the world. Oh, yeah. It's always, yeah, it's fantastic. Being with Ocean Colour Scene was fantastic, yeah. Yeah, well, we're going to put uh, details on the screen below uh, of this festival. Uh, the lineup will also include on the main stage on the Saturday, Sophie Ellis Bexter, D Ream, 911, Joe Amira, and Stacks of Soul. So make sure you get your tickets. I want to be there in the front row. It's going to be a good one. And um, I know you'll be playing uh, the Riverboat song, won't you, at the festival? I will. I'll be dedicating that to the boys from OCS. Yes. I should be playing the Riverboat song, definitely. Wonderful. Well, we thought we'd play it out on the show uh, for everyone at home now, because it's a real favourite. Enjoy. Hi, this is Andy Bennett. This is another one of my tracks. This is called A Little Love. Oh 
some of our lovely viewers. Madeline would like to know, what's the absolute highlight of your career? Uh, the highlight of my career, really, probably playing the Royal Albert Hall with Ocean Coliseum, but it wasn't the first time. It was the second time when we did the 21st, it was the 21st oh. anniversary of the band forming. So that was back in 20, uh, 2010, yeah, 89 to 2010. And that was, I know you can't believe it, can you? But that was just a phenomenal night. I mean, it was full. It was it was brilliant. It was the Albert Hall. And I got to, you know, sing my song. And it was just, it was just great. Really was. Yeah. Yeah, one of those real standout moments. Yeah. Love that. And uh, Andrea would like to know, uh, what are the older Ocean Colour Scene songs uh, that you like playing live? Okay. So obviously I like playing the Riverboat song. And that was in the set. And I like, and I like playing... Sometimes I like playing the day we caught the train just because obviously all fans love that. Uh, and then I love Get Blown Away because Simon's lyrics are just phenomenal. He conjures up such a, a wonderful imagery with his, his words. And now and again, I do play The Circle, so I do like that song as well. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, like we said, we can't wait to get back to festivals and hear all these songs. Uh, but for now, we're going to play out The Circle, which reached number six in the UK singles charts in 1996. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, Andy, we've come to the end now, but we are going to play out for everyone. 100 Mile High City. And we also want to remind everybody to check out your new single, uh, coming in August, uh, the new album coming early 2022, and Elam Live, uh, which is the 17th and 19th of September. You're going to be very busy. Yeah, yeah, very busy. But I can't complain. I had quite a bit of time off, didn't I? So, yeah, you know, yeah. back at it now. Yeah, oh, we're pleased to hear that. Uh, but thank you so much. It's been so great to chat with you and hear everything that's going on. Uh, we're so pleased that gigs are back again and um, it was a real nice trip down memory lane. So thank you so much, Andy. Thank you, Hayley. Take care of yourself. Uh, it's Andy, formerly of Ocean Colour Scene, everyone. Huge thank you, Andy. And here is that track, 100 Mile High City. <laughs> Huge thank you to Andy Bennett, formerly of Ocean Colour Scene, for being a great guest on tonight's show. And thank you to you at home for supporting the show. It really is very much appreciated. Thank you. Now we're going to leave you with some more Ocean Colour Scene and I will see you same time, same place next week. <laughs>